Hello and welcome to Big Num Numismatics. In this video, I will be going over how to properly clean and conserve copper coins that have corrosion, uh, verdigris, or have been found metal detecting and are really uh, messed up. So for the coins today, uh, these are Russian Siberian coins. These were minted in the uh, mid to late 1700s. And these were all found either metal detecting or, you know, an old attic. So they all have differing levels of corrosion. Uh, particularly bad ones are this five copex. You can see it has some deep pitting. This two copex. This one's a little bit better. Um, it hasn't uh, gone all the way into the coin yet, but it's extremely close. And overall, there's just a lot of variety of how badly the coins are corroded. That's a particularly bad one. So this is a guide for anyone who metal detects or maybe has a, a nice copper coin that has great detail and, you know, you just want to remove some corrosion off the bit and that'll make it much more eye appealing. Uh, this is not for uh, really high grade coins that, you know, a single ding could be worth hundreds of dollars. Um, that you need to be a bit more careful. But since these are already so corroded, um, they're generally not that expensive. Um, the, this method works. So the materials we're going to need are some toothpicks and Q-tips, uh, a dish of soap and water, some olive oil, or mineral oil, and some regular distilled water. Um, on the olive oil, you want to make sure that it's uh, rather new. If the olive oil is rancid, it will cause problems in the copper coins later on. Mineral oil is better for that reason, but uh, given how poorly some of these coins are and um, this is a fresh bottle. I don't see any problem. Also, um, if you get a chance, uh, you may want to invest in Verticare. Uh, this is like a, a sealant for spe uh, specifically designed for copper coins. Uh, this prevents any further uh, corrosion or damage after you have conserved them. So without further ado, let's get on to cleaning these. Okay, so first off, you want to divide the coins into areas where, um, you know, they just need a bit of touch-up work. Uh, you can see these coins don't have any more active corrosion. There's no green on them. But uh, they still need to be you know, sealed and prevent any further damage from the elements. Um, these are overall decently nice coins, but we're not going to have to take such extreme methods. The other group is the ones where we're, we will have to do some heavy lifting, particularly on the five copex there. And these are coins that may need to sit for few days up to a few weeks depending on how well the process goes. Another thing I'd like to point out is that uh, although you know I'm, I'm saying cleaned um, this is uh, restoring the coins uh, to prevent them from being damaged in the future. Uh, typical cleaning in the sense that numismatists talk about is damaging the coin 
and overall is not a great idea. Uh, at the end of the video I'll have some uh, processes that you should not do in order to clean the coins. After you've separated them, uh, you want to begin with putting them in some warm soapy water. And just jiggle around the coin, swirl it a bit. Uh, this is just to break off the uh, stuff that's loose. If you've just metal detected, this will remove all the uh, clay and dirt on the surface. You're just going to pat dry the coin afterwards. Uh, again, these are coins that you don't really have to worry about hairlines, although you know, it's something you always want to keep a look out. After you've rinsed, rinsed them off and dried them off, uh, you can let them air dry for a bit if you'd like. You can see some dirt in the bottom of the container now. If you don't see uh, any major particles floating about, uh, don't be worried. Uh, your coin just might be too far gone and or not have enough on it for that particular step to work. So next, you're going to take some olive oil and uh, you're just going to let the coin sit. Now, I'm going to use this particular coin because it's going to take um, only a few minutes or hours. There's some live green stuff on, but not too much, so it should work very well. Uh, with the other coins, it may take, you know, up to four weeks before most of the debris and corrosion is removed. Something like the five Copax here. That level of corrosion will take quite a long time. Uh, another thing you want to keep an eye out is uh, check the coin every day a few times a day because, you know, leaving the coin inside the oil for too long will damage it. So there's always a nice balance between everything. So after you've removed the uh, coin from oil, after the coin is removed from the oil, uh, you want to take it out and immediately put it in some soap and water. The olive oil has some fats, some fatty acids, and that will damage the coin if it's left on there. So you want to use you know, some dish soap, something that dissolves fats. And one of the last steps is to take a toothpick and just wet it down so that it's soft. Um, making the wood soft will prevent any damage like scratches from harming the coin, but it's still stiff enough to remove any of the remaining corrosion uh, also, to note, you know, if you press anything hard enough, it will leave a mark. So you're just going to gently, in one direction, work at some of the green. And eventually, um, a good bit should come out. So here's the after. Uh... I was able to remove most of the corrosion for a degree around the, let's see if I can get my bearing, around the lettering on the outside and in between the crevices on the animals. However, uh, this area right here proved to be quite difficult. And uh, you can still see a bit of the green still there in the right light. See right there. But it looks a lot better than it did. Um, I'll probably throw this back in the olive oil. But that's the gist. And then afterwards, you want to apply uh, Verticare, which is 
uh, pretty hard to find nowadays. Um, they get it gets sold out uh, very quickly after it's offered again. So you can find this on Wizard Coin Supply. I'll link that. Uh, that's a great place to buy supplies of all types for coins. But you just want to gently apply this, let it sit for about a minute, and then rinse off with soap and water again, and pat it dry, and that'll prevent any future corrosion if it's stored in proper conditions. So I pulled out the first uh, bit of copper from the oil. These were coins that did not look like it was doing anything. And overall, um, not much was done to them, but they do look much better. So after the video, I'll put on some Verticare. It's pretty simple. And... Here you can see uh, some of the more egregiously corroded coins. You can see uh, stuff is beginning to fall off into the oil. Man, the lighting is very hard to get. But uh, I still think I'm going to leave those in there for maybe another two days, but I'll keep checking up, uh, checking up on them. So that's the video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please consider liking and subscribing and comment uh, any questions you have, uh, any other tips you have for everyone else on how to conserve these. Uh, a few things to note, um, never use acetone on copper coins that will ruin them uh, also never use uh, e-zest on copper coins that also ruins them ms70 is fine although you really want to only use that on uncirculated and very high au coins and Never ever scrub a coin, even these. Um, it's just good practice to leave them as is. So that's all I have. Thank you.